I mean, for face value, that doesn't sound good. This is probably the only heat timer panel I've ever seen that actually has the key in it. Spoiler off for now. Oof. Oh. Bearing's starting to leak. I mean, it spins, but... And look. Looks like it's been swapped out once before. Not a knock on B and G though. Probably just opened Pandora's box doing that. Woo! All right, so I just got the go ahead to swap it out but before I go I'm gonna shut this and this this and sure why not just in case that baby lets go before I get back I don't want to come back to a flooded boiler room oh no it's okay just a little bit of ice I have a sensitive palate Could have got it for free. Oh, good. Nothing bad happened while we were gone. I don't know if this was meant to be, but that's perfectly placed for us. Oops. Secure. Let's start filling the system. So to spare you the repetition of swapping out a bearing assembly, I just decided to fast forward through it. Besides, I already filmed a video just like it. So if you're interested on how to do it, that video will be popping up at the end of this one. Just trying to figure out which valve I want to open up first. How about the expansion tank? So far, so good. What I'm trying to do right now is just prevent as much air as I can from making it into the entire system. I mean, I know it's inevitable, it's gonna happen. If I could strategically open valves, I could reduce the amount that we have to deal with. Before I forget this, let me throw that on really quick. I'm gonna open one boiler at a time. This is the one I'm afraid of, but I'm gonna have to do it. Mm. What if I crack it a little bit and get some water underneath the circulator pump and then turn the system on and open the valve? Ah, man. I think I put the wrong coupling on. Let's see what the instruction manual says. Ooh, I gotta keep that. It doesn't tell you what coupling to use? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I gotta put the oil in first. That's the problem. Too lazy to go get scissors. I 
I guess I go up to the black line so it doesn't spill out. Oh no, oh no, it's just dripping from the air vent. I guess we go right there. Yep, this is oil cup number one. Now, some of the other pumps have oil cups for the motor mounts, which I guess that's what the rest of it's for. All right, now let's try. Well, that comes into here. <coughs> okay, so it wasn't the wrong coupling. Whew. That would have been embarrassing. It goes this way. Put this in the boneyard. Okay, now it's running. I'm gonna slowly, slowly. All right, we're fully open. Why now? Huh, that was weird. Making a little bit of noise before, but not now. And we're starting to come up to temp. But I'm not gonna sit around here all day and waiting for it to satisfy. I'm positive I grabbed everything I brought in with me this time. <laughs> Which honestly, at this point, it's really not saying much. five blocks away, but I got the spot at the end of the street, so totally worth it. The building we're going to right now, they say he's making a lot of noise, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be able to do with that. I hear a buzzing noise. Well, I don't think that's the boiler. That's definitely making noise. So when it starts, it pings. Jeez. Pretty sure I have that on the truck. God, this truck stresses me out. So it happens on startup. I'm trying to remember what they said in the lost start of steam heating about this. Oh, what's beeping now? Shut that off for right now. Man, that steam is pouring out. I grabbed the wrong one too. The only thing I remember from the book is this is a terrible place for an air vent because you got all the water coming down and the steam coming down and then it goes ba bam and busts the air vent. I think. Yeah, I think it broke. So this is, looks like three quarter. Here we go. Number 77, okay. Yeah, those line up pretty good. Oh no, it's a nice boiler. Smith 19 series? Ah, what was that? Huh, water leak. Hope those aren't live. I don't even wanna to touch it. So we're in heat cycle right now, which means the boiler's not gonna kick on for a while. 
Unless, and that's not my handwriting. So apparently this happens on startup. So it just started up. You wanna hear something gross? All that. That's not dirt. Pressure's coming up. And I only heard like two small water hammers, which one of the tenants who is from the Bronx referred to it as it sounded like shots. That's how bad water hammers get. We're off on pressure. No water hammers. Pipes probably settled over the years too. I wonder if this one should be swapped out. We'll see what happens when the boiler uh, shuts down again, if this keeps spitting out, but so far it looks like it is. I mean, while I'm here, I might as well swap it out, right? Let's try this now. Ooh, it got hot in here. Steam's coming on now. I haven't heard a single water hammer. I'm listening, but I'm also standing here because that fan feels really good. just closed. No banging. You see, what did I tell you before? No key, not even a lock. All right, so the Tecmar ran the boiler all the way through its heat cycle for its run time. We're now off on its off time for the heat cycle. Didn't hear a single water hammer. I mean, I guess we got it. I don't know. Might have to give it a couple days to, to really see it through. Now I gotta find something for lunch. far from the curb but I'll be all right I got a call back it was uh the one I did last week with the thermostat I changed the rollout switch apparently the guy woke up and it the thermostat said 77 degrees but there's no way it was 77 degrees so I'm getting the thermostat I'm putting a new one on and I'm running out of there Gonna go swap it out. I have a feeling this guy's gonna be pissed. I knew it. Pissed. That's the problem with intermittent problems is they're intermittent and it always makes you look like an idiot because you don't get it on the first try. Can I tell you a secret? Low key. Totally putting this Aquaset relay on right now so I can get the hell out of here. I know this sounds like me covering my butt. I did notice that the little lever for the Aquaset relay, um, it clicks on and off at random intervals like you set it to 180 but 
the boiler right now is reading 220. I mean, it looks kind of bad, but... I don't know, the thermostat was super hot. I'm feeling more and more confident that this is the problem now. God, I hope that works. I don't know it's gonna sound super hypocritical of me to say because I preach it all the time, but that was actually a really educated guess. I mean, hey, for all we know, that might be the start of tomorrow's video. Catch you there.